Welcome guys to another video on Biomedical Engineers TV. In this video we will learn about cardiotocography, which is also known as CTG, FHR monitor or non-stress test monitor. This video we will keep it in a simplified way to explain about the fetal monitors. In this video we look into introduction to fetal monitor and type of fetal monitors. This will be the two video series. In next video, we will cover application of cardiotocography. Let's start the video with introduction to cardiotocography. Fetal monitoring was invented by Drs. Alan Bradfield, Orvin Hess and Edward Hon. A refined antipartum, non-invasive, beat-to-beat version cardiotocography was later developed by was later developed for Hewlett-Packard by Conrad Hammacher. CTG monitoring is widely used to assess fetal well-being. A review found that in the antenatal period before labor, there is no evidence to suggest that monitoring a woman with high-risk pregnancies benefits the mother or baby, although research around this is old and should be interpreted with caution. The same review found that computerized CTG machines resulted in lower numbers of baby deaths than the traditional CTG machines. Let's know how CTG works. The device used in cardiotocography is known as a cardiotocograph. It involves the placement of two transducers onto the abdomen of a pregnant woman. One transducer records the fetal heart rate using ultrasound and the other transducer monitors the contractions of the uterus by measuring the tension of the maternal abdominal wall, providing an indirect indication of intrauterine pressure. The CTG is then assessed by a midwife and the obstetric medical team. It is normal for a baby's heart rate to vary between 110 and 160 beats a minute. This is much faster than your own heart rate, which is about 60 to 100 beats per minute. A heart rate in your baby that doesn't vary or is too low or too high may signal a problem. Changes in the baby's heart rate that occur along with contractions form a pattern. Certain changes in this pattern may suggest a problem. If test results suggest your baby has a problem, your doctor may decide to deliver the baby right away. This may mean you need to have a caesarean section or an assisted delivery using forceps. Internal measurement requires a certain degree of cervical dilation as it involves inserting a pressure catheter into the uterine cavity as well as attaching a scalp electrode to the fetal head to adequately measure the electric activity of the fetal heart. Internal measurement is more precise and might be preferable when a complicated childbirth is expected. A typical CTG reading is printed on paper and or stored on a computer for later reference. Use of CTG and a computer network allow continual remote surveillance. A single obstetrical nurse, midwife or obstetrician can watch the CTG traces of multiple patients simultaneously via a computer station. The fetal heart rates and the activity of the uterine muscle are detected by two transducers placed on the mother's abdomen, one above the fetal heart to monitor heart rate and the other at the fundus of the uterus to measure frequency of contractions. Doppler ultrasound provides the information which is recorded on a paper strip known as a cardiotocograph, CTG. External tachometry is useful in showing the beginning and end of contractions as well as frequency, but not the strength of contractions. The absolute values of pressure readings on an external tachometer are dependent on position and are not sensitive in people who are obese. In cases where information on the strength or precise timing of contractions is needed, an internal tonometer is more appropriate. 
Let's know about the type of CTG machine. CTG machines can be classified as conventional fetal monitors, wireless fetal monitors, and central station-based fetal monitors. Conventional CTG machines are the standalone machines which has wired ultrasound transducer, toco transducer, and event marker. In wireless CTG machine, the ultrasound probe, toco transducer, and event marker is connected wireless to the main device and continuously monitor the patient without any cables. And in central station-based, fetal monitoring are used in obstetric gynecologist departments where more than one patient can be monitored at one place. Multiple CTG machines can be connected to central station by wire or by medical-graded wireless communication. This was the introduction video of CTG machines. In the next video, we will look into application of CTG machines. Thanks for watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.